Welcome back to Sports Overtime. Nobody would have batted an eye if Connor Cook would have entered his name into the NFL draft last year. He would have been one of the top quarterbacks in that draft class, but he opted to come back and take care of um, some unfinished business. That's one of the topics we touched on during a recent sit-down interview. You know, it's always been like a blue collar, you know, bring your lunch pail to work, you know, get ready to get after it no matter who you are. If you're a freshman, if you're a four year starter, if you're all American like Jack Allen, if whatever, you know, everyone's going to, everyone has to earn the jersey. We wear, we wear shirts in the weight room that say earn the jersey with a chip on our shoulder, a poker chip on our shoulder. I don't know if you've heard that. Um, but it's just, it's a, you know, no complacency, fight complacency, um, no entitlement kind of, uh, you know, kind of surrounding area whatever you want to call it and and no one's no one's ever entitled no one's ever um you know thinking they're better than someone else um it, everything's earned like like we wear the shirts that say you're in the jersey everything's earned there and nothing's ever handed to you the chip do you guys sometimes have to look for that though uh, not that I, I mean, I don't. I don't think other guys do. I think everyone just, it's just something about us, the mentality we have. Everyone's so motivated. Everyone's so um, ready to prove themselves. You know, no matter if we're on a five-game winning streak, if we just lost the game, whatever, the mentality is to always go out there and just dominate. You know, and I think it starts, you know, obviously it's amongst us as players, but it starts with Coach D, goes down to Coach Manny, our strength coach, who are around 24-7, and he engraves that stuff in our mind that, you know, there's no complacency, there's no entitlement, that we're going to come to work and we're going to freaking work our tails off. So does it tick you guys off that Ohio State's been picked to win the Big Ten? I mean, we never get the respect we deserve, so same stuff, different year. Does it tick you off when you see in the paper every day Jim Har Harbaugh's doing this, Jim Harbaugh's doing that? We don't really, that. like, I don't know. Like, we, that stuff we hear about, we don't really see it. I mean, guys aren't searching for it in, in the newspaper. Guys are online looking stuff up, and we hear about it, and we're just, I mean, we shake our heads to add it and stuff. And, I mean, it just gives us another, another reason to go out there and, and work hard and, and outwork our competition. So when it comes time to play them, uh, we'll uh, reap the benefits. You could have reaped the benefits. You could have cashed in last year. Why come back? Why not go pro and... You know, be getting paid right now. Um, I'm a competitor. You know, last year we didn't win our conference. We didn't accomplish our goals, and uh, I want another shot at that. You know, I'm a competitor. I want to be a champion again, um, and I want to, you know, I want to beat Oregon. I want another shot at Oregon. I want another shot at Ohio State, um, and I want to compete for a championship. And I want to compete for a championship to make the playoff. And um, you know, God willing, if all that stuff you know happens, and, and then then great. You know, I think that's one of the main reasons. Obviously, I want to graduate. Um, you know, I didn't want to leave school without a degree, having to come back and take classes and stuff like that. Um, you know, school's first. I want to graduate, uh, but then after that, I'm a competitor, and and I want to compete against the best. You know, I want to go down to Columbus. I want to play at play at the shoe, um, get another shot at those guys, and um, just compete. And what does it mean to have so many of you guys? You know, Shalik could have gone, Jack could have gone, but here you guys are. What are you What are you guys going to bring to the table of this team this year? Are you going to lead more than you ever have? Yeah, I think we got to. Um, you know, luckily for us, we have such a large senior class. Guys that redshirted in our class, they're going to be fifth years. And then there was quite a few guys that didn't redshirt. They're going to be fourth year seniors. So um, I think the thing that we have going for us is just the amount of guys that have played, the amount of guys that are experienced, the, the amount of guys that have been in the program for a long time that are leaders, that are seniors, that can step out, lead by example on the football field, and then, um, you know, lead, you know, in the, in the meeting room, on the practice field, lead in workouts, you know, off the field, et cetera. How weird is that going to be to be uh, opening the season at, at Western Michigan, you know, one of those smaller in-state schools that... It, two years ago was one of 11, but they still be different. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone's looking forward to it. You know, I think, uh, you know, I think we've experienced a lot of stuff, you know, being at Michigan State, being able to play at Oregon, you know, uh, being able to play at Lincoln, I think it's just a unique thing that, that we can that we get to experience. You know, getting a chance to go on the road, you know, play at a, a smaller venue where it's going to be packed. I mean, it's going to be sold out. Everyone's going to be there. So um, it'll bring back some memories, you know, just, you know, playing maybe like, you know, in high school or something like that on, under the lights. Um, I don't think their stadium's nearly as small as a high school stadium. It's still, it's still a pretty big stadium. But just switching it up, you know, changing the scenery a little bit. You know, Western Michigan's going to be a great team. You know, we've already, you know, watched some film on them. They're a much improved football team than, than they were in the past. Past. But um, it'll be fun. It'll be different. It'll be a great experience. And last thing, what would it mean to you to walk out of Michigan State? Degree, national championship ring, Big Ten championship ring. It mean the world. I mean, I couldn't even put into words what that would mean, what that would, what that would feel like. Um, probably a good sense of completion.